Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you guys had a, enjoyed your Monday having the day off. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to finish 10-5. So I'm going to go over two problems for that. When we're done with 10-5, we're going to do our quit check. Throughout the day, you're going to get your notebook checked by me. And then um, if you get done up with all that, I have a, a science assignment for you guys. And then tomorrow and Thursday, we're going to work on a review. And then on Friday, we'll be taking the tests for 10-5. And then we'll be moving on to uh, multiply and, and divide in fractions next week, I believe. So let's go ahead. Um, I would like to go over two numbers with you guys. I'm going to go over number 21 and 22. You guys have 23 to 32 assigned to yourselves. So I just want to kind of give you guys a quick refresher and a couple of things to think about because I did notice a couple of errors that a lot of you guys were making the same mistakes on Friday. So let's go ahead with number 21. So number 21 is parentheses, five and three fourths plus one and five six parentheses minus six and seven twelfths. Now this is one of the errors I would like to point out to begin with. The first thing we need to do is what's in the parentheses. And then we fill in our sum. So we're gonna add these two together and we're gonna fill in our sum right here and then we subtract sum minus six and seven twelfths. A lot of times you guys were getting that flipped. Or you guys automatically assumed that the this went first. But we need to read the problem and figure out where did our parentheses fall in our in our overall um, equation. So I always want to rewrite my fractions, my mixed numbers, and in, in column form. It's important that we leave ourselves places to work too. I notice a lot of you guys are trying to cram everything on the one page. Guys, we have plenty of notebooks. We have plenty of paper. So we need to take our space and take our time, okay? So the first thing I need to do here is I need to find the least common multiple. And the least common multiple is going to be a 4 and 6 is going to be 12. And of course, if you guys don't know how to find the least common multiple or you can't do it in your mind like I can, what we're going to do is we're going to do 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And then when you go to the second number, you always need to check what you did for 4. So we're going to start with 6. Do I see a 6? No. 12. Do I see a 12? Yes. Circle them and there we go. 4 goes into 12 three times. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then we carry over our 5, or we bring over our 5. 6 goes into 12 two times, so 5 times 2 is 10. And we bring over our 1. So 9 twelfths plus 10 twelfths is 19 twelfths. 5 plus 1 is 6. Now, I don't want to simplify this yet. And the reason I don't want to simplify this yet is because I still have to subtract from it. And instead of, instead of having to rename because I simplified, I'm just going to simplify my answer at the end. So the next thing I need to do is I need to plug this in. So in parentheses, I would have 6 and 19 twelfths because that was the sum of 5 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 5 six. And I can even write this up here if I need to so that it helps me remember where stuff goes. So 6 and 19 over 12. Then I need to subtract 6 and 7 twelfths. And I'm going to write in column form again 6, 7 twelfths. Now remember, I already have a common denominator, so I don't need to work anything else out on the side. So 19 minus 7 is 12 twelfths. 6 minus 6 is 0. So what I have left is 12 twelfths. Now I need to simplify. 12 twelfths equal 1. 
So my final answer is one. Guys, for this one problem, I took almost up almost a third of the page. And that's okay. That's what we need to be doing. We need to give ourselves space to work. So the next problem I'm going to go to is I'm going to work on number 22. Number 22 is 4 and 3 fifths plus parentheses 8 and 1 fifth minus 7 and 3 tenths. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do or the first thing I need to do is I need to solve what's in the parentheses, which is 8 and 1 fifth minus 7 and 3, and that's tenths. Let me make sure. So then I'm going to write this in column form. 8 and 1 fifth minus 7 and 3 tenths. Well, 5 and 10 is not the same denominator. So the first thing I need to do is find the least common denominator or the least common multiple. Well, I know that 5 goes into 10 and 10 goes into 10. So that's going to be my least common denominator. So 10 and 10. 10 goes into 10 one time. So 3 times 1 is 3. Ten, 5 goes into 10 two times. So 1 times 2 is 2. Then I need to bring over my 8 and my 7. Now, can I subtract 2 from 3? I mean, I'm sorry. Can I take away 3 from three tenths from 2 tenths? No, I can't. So I need to rename. I need to borrow from my 8 and rename it. So that's going to become 7. And then I'm going to add my denominator, which is a whole, because 10 tenths equal 1. Remember, 10 over 10 equals 1. And that's what we borrowed. So 10 plus 2 is going to be 12. So now I have 7 and 12 tenths minus 7 and 3 tenths. So 12 minus 3. 12 minus 3 is 9 tenths. 7 minus 7 is 0. So now I need to fill this in. Right here I'm going to have 9 tenths. So my second part of my question, and I'm going to slide over here, is I'm going to have 4 and 3 fifths plus 9 tenths. Now, I didn't, I didn't do 9 tenths plus 4 and 3 fifths because that's not the way it is written. The way it is written is 4 and 3 fifths plus 9 tenths. Now, when I add, does it matter? No, because we have the associative, we have the commutative property of addition that allows us to do that. However, we need to write it properly because when we subtract, it does make a difference. So, 5 and 10, what is the least common multiple? Well, I know that 5 goes into 10 and 10 goes into itself. So, I need to rewrite this over 10. 5 goes into 10 two times. 3 times 2 is 6. And then I'm going to bring over 9 tenths. Bring over my whole number of 4. So 4 and 6 tenths plus 9 tenths is now my final problem. 6 tenths plus 9 tenths is 15 tenths. 4 plus 0 is 4. So now I have 4 and 15 tenths. Now my final thing I need to do is simplify. And the way I'm going to simplify as I know that 5 goes into 15 and 5 goes into 10. And I'm going to write my new answer over here. So I'm going to say 4. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say 4. 5 goes into 15 three times. 5 goes into 10 two times. Basically, we're dividing by 5, dividing by 5. 4 and 3, 
twos. So now the last thing I need to do is that is an improper fraction. So I need to simplify that again. Well, I know if I take two away, that gives me a whole. So I'm going to take two from three, and I'm going to be able to make this a five. And then if I did three minus two, that's going to leave me one half. So my final answer is five and one half. I hope this video helps you guys out a little bit. I try to take my time to explain it. So remember, we're going to finish. You're going to finish independent practice today. Then after you finish independent practice, we're going to do our quick check. After you finish your quick check, you're going to come see me because I have some other work for you to do on the side. We're going to have our tests on Friday. We're going to review for two days. So this should be an easy week, but a very beneficial week to you guys. All right. Have a great day.